What's up everyone? Andrew here from the Living in Niagara Real Estate Group and today I am here in the city of Fort Erie. Now Fort Erie has been a very, very popular destination over the past few years for a lot of people because of the amount of new construction. Now today I thought it would be cool and necessary to shoot a vlog of the city of Fort Erie and give you a much better overview of what it's like living here. We're gonna tour some of the popular sites. We're gonna show you some of the neighborhoods and make sure that you stick around right until the end because we have exclusive access of a brand new luxury condominium that is happening and set to be built down by the Niagara River Parkway. So I'm super excited to show you guys what exactly is planned. So make sure you stick around until the end. What's up everyone? If we haven't already met, my name is Andrew Kulakowski and I am a local realtor and team leader here with eXp Realty and the Living in Niagara Real Estate Group. And my team helps hundreds of people just like you buy and sell real estate here and relocate here and we absolutely love it. So if that's you and you're thinking about making that move to the Niagara region, whether it be tomorrow or in the next couple of years, then make sure you do one thing and reach out to me. We can start a preliminary discussion and perhaps figure out a plan to help you make that move as smooth as possible here to the Niagara region. Now, if this is your first time on my channel and you wanna know everything about what it's like living in Niagara from work, play, eating, buying and selling real estate and literally everything else in between, then make sure you do one thing and hit that like button, subscribe and tap the notification button so you'll be notified every time I post up videos just like this one. Now, Fort Erie's population is 33,000 people currently, and that includes Stevensville and Ridgeway Crystal Beach. Now, the average household income is just over $60,000, and the average median age here in Fort Erie is 52 years old. Now, if you haven't already noticed behind me, I am standing at the ever famous Fort Erie racetrack. Now, Probably most of you, if you've been to Fort Erie or have heard of Fort Erie, then the racetrack is probably something that you would affiliate Fort Erie with. Now the Fort Erie racetrack is 125 years old. And to this date, they still have regular races that happen here. Additionally, they also have on race days, they have live music, they have vendors here, they have farmers markets and a bunch of other family friendly festivities that take place here. Now just a fun fact, back in the mid to late 2000s, this facility was purchased by an American businessman who was originally, his plan was to convert the racetrack into a NASCAR racetrack. However, after years of trying to plan that, unfortunately the city squashed that and ended up selling the facility and it is what you see today, a uh, full-blown racetrack. All right guys, so here we are, we're at the racetrack still just kind of cruising around, Cam and I, my, my photographer, and uh, this is super cool. It's really eerie how quiet it is here today. Uh, the races usually typically take place on Tuesdays, but um, the scale of this facility is just absolutely massive. This site is so big. I actually never realized how big this site was because I'm just so used to driving by it. But uh, seeing it up and close, is uh, it's pretty cool. Right behind me over here too, it looks like these are uh, stables for horses. They probably have a lot of uh, events and everything that take place here for, uh, for kids too. There's a little riding area right in the middle of this uh, pavilion. Uh, really, really cool. These buildings are just really, really old. You can kind of see the age of them when you're up this close. Now I am at Champlain Drive Park, and if you can see behind me, there's a lot going on. One of the consistent things you're gonna see here in Fort Erie is a lot of these parks getting completely refurbished and upgraded. As you can see, they put in walking paths all throughout this park and a brand new play area right behind me that is in the midst of being worked on as we speak. It'll probably be finished by the end of summer. But again, something you're gonna consistently see here in the city of Fort Erie. 
Okay, so right now we are driving on Niagara Boulevard. You may be able to see around me right now. We've got the Niagara River Parkway, uh, the Niagara River right beside me on the left-hand side. And of course, right across there is the United States. That's Buffalo, New York. Uh, one thing you're going to notice with Fort Erie is the rich history, all these old buildings in this little downtown core. It's pretty cool to see. You're seeing some that are being refurbished, some that are really all original, some that are boarded up. You've got some cool uh, restaurants down here. You've got uh, this really neat building up on the right hand side here, the cannabis supply that's been completely refurbed. And as we're going down, you can see right in front of us uh, that big bridge. That is the Peace Bridge. Uh, that's obviously the main bridge that gets you across from uh, from Buffalo into uh, into Canada here in Fort Erie. The green space along here is truly fantastic. You know, there's not many cities that have this much green space um, connected to the water. It's really, really cool. There's all kinds of uh, pathways and walkways for people. It just really is a beautiful, beautiful part of uh, the Niagara region. So right now we just pulled into a Lakeshore Road Park, another huge uh, green space that's, that's part of the city. Uh, right to the right of me, you can see the border and all of the, uh, the border patrol and uh, where you would cross to get over to the Peace Bridge. Um, but entering this park, there's some nice roadways in here. Again, there's a lot of rich history. Um, right up here is kind of the main monument. As you can see, some city workers, Niagara Parks workers working on it, maintaining it with the river and the lake in the background. Now we're heading back onto the lake shore. If you're ever wanting to take a Sunday drive or you have the time and you want to kill time on a nice day in the summertime, uh, this drive is fantastic. You can take the Lake Shore to the Niagara Parkway and you can literally take it from end to end, which ultimately heading back will get you into Niagara Falls and Chippewa and then take you into uh, Niagara on the Lake eventually. But the drive is fantastic. The homes on the lakeshore are truly beautiful um, and we'll try to capture some footage for you and give you a much better idea of the types of homes um, that are established and have been here on the lakeshore and the parkway uh, for many, many, many years. You can tell uh, they were uh, at, at some point in time, they were very wealthy people who lived in a lot of these homes. Uh, so it's really, really cool to see uh, the different types of architecture and the types of homes that, uh, that sit along uh, the parkway. So now we're here on site at the old Fort Erie Battleground. Now obviously this is where the name originated, Fort Erie. And what's really, really cool about this site, and we're going to take you around and show you a little bit more of the history uh, behind it, but Fort Erie dates back to the late 1700s and into the early 1800s uh, when the War of 1812 took place. Now, obviously, this was the site of one of the forts when the uh, when the war was happening, of course, uh, with uh, I'm sure gunfire and battling taking place between the Canadian side and the American side across the river. Uh, some of the views out here are absolutely breathtaking. You could really, really uh, get a good view of the lake and where the river uh, kind of connect. But we're going to take you around the other side here and show you some really, really cool features of this old Fort Erie. All right, so we're back on Lakeshore Road. As you can probably tell from behind me again, there's more water. Uh, we're leaving the old Fort Erie site and I thought this would be a really cool drive um, to kind of give you uh, a little bit more of a high level overview of this neighborhood here um, right on Lakeshore. I love this neighborhood. I think it's really, really cool. It's kind of a mix of a cottagey vibe uh, with some new development uh, that's being built that I'm going to take you to as well. Um, but just check it out. It's got, uh, it's got little sandy beach spots along here with some rocks. There's a bunch of uh, different stops that you can uh, make right off the road uh, to get, again, good views of all the water. There's a walkway that runs all along here. 
into. So uh, really, really nice. There's actually quite a few homes for sale in this neighborhood too right now. It's actually quite surprising. There's some beautiful waterfront properties too that we're gonna be pulling up to on the left-hand side right here on, uh, on Lakeshore. All right, guys, now we're in a newer development that's being built. Uh, it's actually in a couple different phases right now. As you can see, it's around us. There's, uh, there's an existing subdivision. These homes are approximately 70 years old. Uh, the water is literally just steps right over there. And uh, now we're going to come back out to Bardell Avenue. Uh, and Silvergate Homes, which is a local builder, is uh, preparing a development right now for a bunch of homes that are going to be built. Uh, and I'll show you better once we get a little bit closer to the uh, development site. All right, guys. So as previously mentioned, uh, Silvergate Homes, uh, local builder. If you can see beside me, they've got this massive uh, residential site that they are uh, obviously preparing all the services. Um, they've got brand new curbs. This is actually a new road. Um, so they're going to be building a bunch of homes in here. Uh, couldn't guess how many homes. It looks like probably 500 to 1,000 homes easily could be built in this uh, in this development site. The beauty of it is, again, this location is so nice because you've got water. The lake is literally steps away, so it's uh, it's quite nice. Uh, it's a really nice feeling community. Um, I don't know what the prices are going to be if they don't have uh, any of the prices uh, available yet. But uh, another cool residential development site that's taking here, taking place here in Port Erie. Right, so if you haven't already noticed, we are standing on a beach. I'm here at Waverly Beach. This is a public beach right here in Port Erie. Again, not far from that development we just drove by. As you can see behind me, we've got uh, hundreds and hundreds of feet of sandy beach. Um, and if you're a boater, then this is a fantastic place to come. If you like to uh, catch rays and uh, perhaps do some swimming or do some fishing, then what a great place to uh, come to right here at Waverly Beach in Fort Erie. Beach also worth noting you have your public uh, pavilion area right up here where you can uh, do picnics uh, there's barbecue stations there's parking areas as well as public washrooms so it's really convenient uh, and one thing that's worth noting too is that there's the friendship trail uh, that if you're interested in riding your bike or walking or running or rollerblading, that trail actually takes you all the way into Port Colborne, which is really cool. Fun fact that I actually didn't even know. I just learned that today. So, uh, so pretty cool. Right now we're driving through a really popular neighborhood here in Fort Erie called Crescent Park. Uh, Crescent Park is very, very well known. You kind of have a mix of a lot of different homes in the Crescent Park area, from homes that are a lot older, uh, that were built uh, in the 50s and 60s, um, to some cottages that uh, are even older than that in this area, because again, you're just adjacent to the lake with easy access to Waverly Beach, which is really, really great for this area. Um, you've got big lots in this area too. Um, there's a lot of infill that's happening in the Crescent Park area where people are knocking down old little cottages and they're building uh, larger, newer homes. Uh, and again, to my point about um, the lot sizes in the Crescent Park area, uh, it's pretty common to have a lot size on average of 60 by 120 feet uh, with homes actually having even larger lots. There's one right here that's probably 200 feet. So again, a really, really nice, quiet community. Uh, and again, highly sought after when I, when I talk to a lot of people from out of town, Crescent Park tends to be on their radar for areas that they want to uh, move to or at least look in. But yeah, so Crescent Park is a great spot. The average price right now in Crescent Park uh, is around six and a quarter. Um, however, uh, to note, there is a lot of new development taking place as well. So because of that, uh, you know, the prices are going to uh, drive upwards because a lot of the newer builds are probably going to be starting in the high eight, nine hundreds, even a million dollars for a single family detached home. So if you're a golfer, 
then Fort Erie definitely should be on your radar. Now, you can see behind me, we're standing almost at the tee box of uh, this golf course right here. This is Fort Erie uh, Golf Course, super old. It's a little par three course, uh, 18 holes. I actually played it a few weeks ago. It's actually a lot of fun if you want to practice your irons. Uh, but Fort Erie, when it comes to golfing, there's four golf courses within the Fort Erie footprint. Obviously, Fort Erie Golf Course being one. You have Bridgewater, you have Cherry Hill, as well as National Golf Course in Stevensville. And then, of course, being so close to Niagara Falls, uh, it opens up to a bunch of different golf courses if you're interested in having access to uh, various golf courses in Niagara Falls, Port Colbert, or even in the Welland Fawn Hill area. All right, so we are back on Garrison Road or Highway 3, obviously a main drag that runs right through Fort Erie. Right on the left of us is the front of the Greater Fort Erie Secondary School. As previously mentioned, it is a newer school in this area. And over to the right of me, we have some municipal service buildings. We've got a leisure plex over here too. And there's also a skate park, which kids love to go to. So along Highway 3 on Garrison Road right now, this is kind of like your main artery for all of the major amenities for basically all of Fort Erie, but obviously very convenient for people who live in Crescent Park too, just because of the location. Um, but we're gonna head up uh, Highway 3 right now. We're gonna stop at uh, one of the major shopping centers just to kind of give you a better overview of what types of stores are in this area. The one thing that I can say is that there is a lot of new commercial development that's happening uh, along Highway 3 too. There's like multiple new plazas that have been built over the past year. Um, again, just a sign of what's happening here in Fort Erie with regards to the population growth uh, and everything else going on around it. So although Fort Erie being a much smaller and quieter community, rest assured, you're still going to get your big box amenities. And as you can tell, I'm standing here in the Walmart Plaza. In this parking lot, right around us, you have a Scotiabank, you have an LCBO, you have a no frills grocery store. And as mentioned, all along Highway 3 on Garrison Road, you have all your other big box stores that you can count on having if you do live here in Fort Erie. As promised, guys, as we wrap up our Fort Erie vlog, I'm standing here at an exceptional new condo site that is going to be built right here at Garrison Road and Central Avenue, directly across from the lake and the Niagara River. Now, what's exceptional about this luxury condo development is that it has 230 units ranging in size from 670 square feet up to approximately 1100 square feet. Now, as previously mentioned, it is a luxury condo. So as you can imagine, the amenities here are going to be exceptional. The amenities include a rooftop terrace, they include a bowling alley, a 24-7 concierge service for security, parking. It also includes a study area or work area for any of the local residents in the building and a list of other various amenities that are going to be included. Now, this is a first of its kind here in Fort Erie. Now, the developer that is going to be building this building is Signature Communities. Signature Communities is a developer based out of the Toronto area. They take a lot of pride in their customer service and their quality of product. So we're super excited to have them here in Fort Erie and planning this development. Now, occupancy is set to be around 2026 to 2027. So if you're interested in learning more, we have exclusive access to all of the information, the pricing and everything that comes within this amazing development called Discovery Condos right here in Fort Erie. Now, for more information, reach out to me directly or you can visit the link in the description 
below. Now, pricing is going to be starting approximately $850 per square feet. And as more information rolls out, I am happy to provide that information to you. This is going to be a fantastic building. So if you're interested in possibly relocating here or investing in this fantastic development, then I encourage you to reach out to me directly. But that wraps up our city vlog today of Fort Erie. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember folks, if you ever have any questions or are considering relocating here to the Niagara region, then make sure you reach out to my team, the Living in Niagara Real Estate Group, because we're happy to help and excited to get the ball rolling. But that's all for now, guys, and we'll see you on our next video.